All right, here's our next example, sine x. So integral of sine, right? We need antiderivative for sine. And you got to be careful with the pluses and minuses, right? Uh, the derivative of sine is cos, but we want the antiderivative. We need negative cos, right? Because if you take the derivative of negative cos, you get minus minus sine, which gives you back your sine x. So if we use this notation here, we can simply say that this is negative cos x evaluated from 0 to pi. So that means it's minus cos pi minus minus cos 0. You do have to be careful about signs, right? It's always it's upper minus lower, right? And if there's a minus sign in the function, you got to be careful. There's two negatives there. And, and so now this is minus, so cosine of pi is minus 1. Minus minus is plus, cos of 0 is 1. So 1 plus 1, our answer is 2. All right, that went pretty well. Took us one minute. Let's move on to the next one. What's an antiderivative for e to the t? Well, it's its own derivative. It's also its own antiderivative. So this is just e to the t. Evaluate at those endpoints, 0 and 5. So it's e to the 5 minus e to the 0. Leave it there, or maybe you want to remind yourself that e to the 0 is 1, and you're done. That one took 30 seconds. Awesome. OK. Now, for this one here, it helps to remember that root functions are really power functions. OK. This is going to be, so we have to think uh, a little bit here. Adding 1 to our exponent. 1 half plus 1 gives me 3 halves. I need to divide by 3 halves. Dividing by 3 halves is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, so 2 thirds. Right. So you have to think a little bit about the antiderivative for that one. Once you do, it's not so bad. Keep in mind that that constant out front is going to apply to both, right? It's 2 thirds times 9 to the 3 over 2 minus 2 thirds times 4 to the 3 over 2. Okay, so. 9 to the 3 over 2 minus 4 to the 3 over 2. OK? And if you want to clean up a little bit, 9 to the 3 over 2, that means we take the square root of 9 and then we cube it. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 cubed, 27. Same thing here. Square root of 2 is, or square root of 4 is 2. 2 cubed is 8. 27 minus 8 gives us. 19, 2 times 19 is 38. So 38 over 3 for our final answer. There we go. Three integrals, three minutes. Let's move on to the next thing.